NVIDIA is selling lies, and reviewers shouldn't be afraid to mince words about it. That is precisely what the RTX 5070 is. I was looking through the RTX 5070 reviews. I am kind of disappointed with the reviews. Not with the GPU, I am disappointed with the reviews. Because why everybody calling this GPU is a bad GPU? NVIDIA can never make a bad GPU. Whatever, if they make a bad GPU in any condition, people will still buy that. Because don't mind, NVIDIA does have their own kind of cult fan base that can only buy the NVIDIA GPUs, doesn't matter what happens. By the way, I was looking through the GPU reviews and I was kind of surprised that how RTX 5070 bad is their marketing campaign was it is fastest as the RTX 4090 probably three times less price but the reality is let me show you let me show you so this guy is amazing it's labeling is amazing look at this what he just said RTX 4090 versus 5070 5070 just dead it cannot compete with the RTX 4090 in any possible scenario only if you count the fake frames i know i know a lot of you cult are very immature ignorant fans of the nvidia are going to comment down below yeah 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 fake frames are really good and the smooth and the smooth and everything do whatever you want to do the basic thing is at the moment the nvidia fans are the most worst generation of the human civilization they are still supporting the nvidia i'm not wondered why nvidia is so much big company despite making so much bad products since last three generation maybe since 2000 series since the 2000 series their last best series was a thousand series from uh, like 1050 ti to 1080 ti after that they just made every bad possible gpu in the generation and i'm not even counting the possible damage they have done to the gaming industry the introduction of the dlss already made every developer lazy on this planet no new game is coming with the good optimization they are a bad every game is bad they are just chipping or they are just throwing the dlss and fsr i'm not wondered amd always try to catch up with the nvidia doesn't matter if they are trying to catch up or the bad things are the good things i personally believe the fsr dlss are the main carpet of the industry who are destroying the gaming industry because of these upscaling features developers are not trying to bother to optimize the games and i'm not even counting the other factors like how in Nvidia just monopolize the whole gaming industry with their CUDA things with their now they are trying to monopolize with the uh, texture neural texture and other things they just want to capture or I will say make the hostage hold gaming industry so whatever they make whatever they are going to just throw into the market they will be sell instantly at this moment if you are a gamer even if you are a video editor you don't need an nvidia card doesn't matter what if you are using premiere pro or if you are using the davinci resolve you don't need an nvidia card you can buy the intel card for that the thing is only one situation you need then an nvidia card if you are using the cuda based application for example autodesk application these application straightforward does not work other than the CUDA hardware by the way this is these are just my views this was meant to be happened RTX 5070 was meant to be a really bad GPU because they are trying to shift the whole scenario in the GPU tiers and everything like now we are getting 5070 at the same price of 4070 super without any generational uplift like none say it's a zero uh, percent up uplift and the next generation they are going to be uh, they, this is going to be same at this moment they just want the gamers to buy only 90 series gpu and no wonder they those days are not far once there is going to be only one gpu that it must be a usable that is going to be a 90 series gpu and yeah that is going to cost a ten thousand dollar in the near future current it is costing a five thousand dollar fifty ninety and people are buying this because people don't care they have money they don't care about the destruction of gaming industry they don't care about the destruction of our uh, gpu hardware and and the everything that is messed up so far so i know i'm um, you can uh, say i'm angry but why am i angry people because the people are still buying these bad gpus they don't care and uh, yeah that's why i'm kind of angry